Hi, I'm Marlene and I'm going to tell you what happened to my legs and uh, what it means to me being brave. Um, when I was 13 I had bacterial meningitis and uh, it's a really serious disease uh, which you can die from and uh, it's a bacteria that enters in your blood and it caused, uh, for me it caused like a lot of scars through all of my body, my legs and my arms and uh, in that moment when I was 13 I, I lost both of my feet. I was in the hospital for uh, eight months and I had over 25 operations. So it was a really hard time, especially accepting the fact that my body changed that much, which was really difficult being, being 13. And uh, now I'm 37, I'm still struggling with um, some of the things that happened then. And I recently um, had my uh, left leg uh, amputated last year in May. The reason that I decided to amputate my leg uh, was because what was left of my left foot uh, was always hurting and I tried different operations um, but it never really uh, took away the pain. So I saw all these people with uh, lower leg amputation, snowboarding and doing all kinds of sports and that was something that attracted me and I thought I can do this too. So it's now been over nine months that I have my leg amputated it's not uh, been an easy ride, but uh, I'm, I'm happy where I am now. I'm, I'm able to walk, I'm able to do all the daily stuff. I'm able to ride my bicycle and even ski for two hours. And uh, so I can't complain. I'm not rid of the pain completely, but I'm still working on it. That's why this is my prosthetic leg. This is a new socket. I'm still working on it with the leg guy here. So like to get rid of the pain, I really have to fine tune and really have to see where it hurts and make adaptions. And uh, it's, it's a long process, but uh, I'll know I'll get there. So this video is about being brave. And uh, so I ask myself like, what, what does it mean to be brave? And to be honest, I think a lot of time people just consider people that, that are ill or have had some kind of illness they're just being brave for for being sick but i don't i think everybody who has some kind of serious illness is just doing whatever he can to get the best out of it and it's not it's not it's not bravery is you're just doing what you, what everybody would do so i don't consider myself brave not even for deciding to amputate my leg i do consider myself brave for being for deciding um uh, to be vulnerable to open myself to let to show people what I'm going through and uh, yeah it feels like uh, as I as I call it like coming out of the closet so I do consider myself brave for that and um, and uh, but it, it since I've done that I've, I've put myself out there I've noticed that it's only been very positive all the reactions and it actually showing my vulnerability and daring to be vulnerable has actually given me a lot of strength so um, I'm really happy about that. And um, yeah. So if you want to follow me on Facebook or YouTube, just look for me. Uh, it's okay to be different. That's what my blog is about. Um, uh, you can see uh, my, me before my operation and after the operation and the struggles I, I've been through and I'm still going through. So hopefully I'll see you there.